Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. A little over a week ago on September 19th, the Swedish Hockey League joined the growing list of European leagues that have kicked off their 2021 season. Given that Sweden is home to some of the greatest hockey players in the world, and the SHL is considered to be one of the best hockey leagues in Europe, the Swedish league has become quite an enticing place for former NHL players to continue their careers once they leave the bigs behind. Whether they're returning home to their native land after a brief stint overseas, they have played well enough in another European league and want to face a tougher challenge, or they are no longer able to find a gig across the pond, the SHL is currently home to many former NHLers this season. Given the response I received from my KHL video last weekend, a lot of you want me to keep making videos on European hockey, so I decided we would continue along a similar theme to last week, but shift our focus to Northern Europe instead. So in today's video, allow me to take you through my list of 8 former NHLers playing in the Swedish Hockey League this season. Before we begin, if you are interested in listening to a more in-depth analysis of the latest news, scores and standings from both the Swedish Hockey League and the entire European circuit, check out the Europuck podcast starring yours truly. A link will be in the pinned comment and the description down below. But anyways, on with the video. Kicking things off at number 8, we have Jonathan Blum. The only American player on this list, Jonathan Blum seems to have found himself a new home in Sweden over the last couple of years. The 23rd overall pick of the 2007 draft by the Nashville Predators, Blum would suit up in 110 NHL games over five seasons, split between the Predators and the Minnesota Wild, scoring seven goals and 24 points for his efforts. Following a four-game stint in the state of hockey during 14-15, the American defenseman would make the move to Europe and spend the next four seasons of his career suiting up in the KHL, where he scored 83 points in 179 games and was named an All-Star in 15-16. After spending the 18-19 season with Dinamo Minsk, Blum would take his talents to Sweden and join Firestad BK for the 1920 season, where he would produce a strong debut year in the league by notching 8 goals and 33 points in 51 games. In fact, Blum continues to suit up for Firestad for the current 2021 season, and with a point in his first two games of the year, Blum's sophomore stint in Sweden is hopefully starting as it means to go on once more. Next up at number 7, we have Jonas Enroth. The first of two goaltenders to feature on this list, Jonas Enroth is hoping that his second stint in the SHL will be just as successful as his first. A second round pick by the Buffalo Sabres in 2006, Enroth stood between the pipes of an NHL goal over parts of eight seasons with four different teams, earning a reputation as a decent backup netminder by posting a 50, 69 and 16 record, a 2.84 goals against average and a .909 save percentage in 153 games. After a short but rough stint with the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1617, the Swedish netminder took his talents overseas and spent the next three seasons predominantly in the KHL as the starting netminder of Dinamo Minsk, but also made brief stops to the Austrian League and the SHL along the way. This year, Enroth has returned to Sweden and rejoined Orbro HK in the hopes of picking up where he left off during a 10-game stint with the team during the 1819 season. Though he allowed four goals in his only game of the year so far, there's still plenty of hockey left to play, so I'm sure Enroth will bounce back soon enough and help Albro have a strong rest of the season. After all, he played pretty well last time he was with them, that's for sure. At number six, we have Nicholas Bergfors. One of the lesser known names on this list in the year 2020, Nicholas Bergfors hasn't let his lack of recognition stop him from becoming a great player back home. The 23rd overall pick of the 2005 draft by the New Jersey Devils, Bergfors took to the ice in 173 NHL games over five seasons with a handful of teams, scoring 35 goals and 83 points whilst earning a place on the 2010 NHL All-Rookie team in the process. Following an 11-game stint with the Nashville Predators in 11-12, Bergfors would move overseas to Russia and join the KHL for the rest of the year. The Swedish forward would then go on to spend the next four and a half seasons of his career in the K, where he became a pretty productive player by scoring 59 goals and 130 points in 228 KHL games. 
Once the 15-16 season came to an end, Bergfors decided that his career in Eastern Europe was over and it was time to return home, as he joined SHL side Link Coping HC for the 16-17 season, before being traded to Jagardan IF midway through the year. Since then, Bergfors has spent the last four and a half seasons solely with Jagardan and has kept up his scoring pace from his time in the KHL, as he has notched 34 goals and 76 points in 166 SHL games, while also earning an SHL silver medal in 1819, as Linkoping were defeated in the playoff finals. Though he has yet to play a game this season at the time of this recording, Bergfors is still contracted to play for Jagardan during the 2021 season, so expect to see him out on the ice with the team when their season finally gets underway. Next, at number 5, we have Jonas Gustafsson. The other goalie to be featured on this list, Jonas Gustafsson may have faced a different start to his NHL career than the other players on this list, but that certainly didn't stop him from becoming a monster in the net. An undrafted player in each of his years of eligibility, Gustafsson would sign as a free agent with the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2009 and go on to play parts of eight seasons in the NHL with a number of teams, predominantly being used as a backup netminder during his career and posting a 72, 67 and 23 record, a 2.88 goals against average and a .901 save percentage in 179 games. Following a year with the Edmonton Oilers organization in 1617, where he got to play seven games in the bigs, the Swedish goaltender decided to head back across the pond and join Linkoping HC as their new starting netminder for the 1718 season. In fact, Gustafsson has spent the past three seasons with the team and has played pretty well between their pipes, posting a goals against average of 2.47 or lower and a save percentage of 0.916 or higher in each of his three years on the roster. Although Gustafsson is still contracted to Linkoping for the 2021 season, I must admit that this pick comes with a bit of an asterisk, as Gustafsson announced roughly two weeks ago that he would be taking an indefinite leave from both the team and the sport of professional hockey. There's no specific reason given, but in the article announcing the news, the team suggests that it might be due to some of the injuries he's been facing over the last few seasons, and that the team has found a replacement netminder until Gustafsson makes a decision on what to do next. Here's hoping the monster either gets back into the action soon, or enjoys his newfound time away from professional hockey. Regardless of the decision he makes, he's certainly earned it, folks. Halfway through this list now at number 4, we have Eric Jelena. The only Canadian player to feature on this list, Eric Jelena seems to be feeling pretty comfortable in his new home across the pond. A second round pick by the New Jersey Devils in 2009, Jelena suited up in 189 NHL games over five seasons, split between the Devils and the Colorado Avalanche, where he scored 14 goals and 55 points for his efforts. After a 27 game stint with the Avs in 1617, Jelena would spend a year in the AHL with the Laval Rocket before moving overseas to Europe for the 1819 season. Though he would spend most of his first year overseas with KHL side Slovan Bratislava, the Canadian defenseman would make the move to Sweden late in the year in order to join Rogel BK of the Swedish Hockey League. Jelena continues to play for Rogel to this very day, becoming a leader for the team both on and off the ice by scoring 25 points in 45 games and being named an alternate captain for the 2021 season. With three points in just a single game to start the year, Jelena has got his season off to a great start and is on track to produce his best year in the league yet if he keeps up this production for the rest of the year. Will he do so? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Next up at number three, we have Jacob Josephson. One of only two players on this list to have played more than 300 NHL games, Jacob Josephson has hit the ground running since returning home to his domestic league. The 20th overall pick of the 2009 draft by the New Jersey Devils, Josephson would spend parts of eight seasons in the NHL, split between the Devils and the Buffalo Sabres, scoring 20 goals and 64 points in 315 games. Following a rough year with the Sabres in 1718, the Swedish forward would head back home and join Jagardan IF for the 1819 season. Not only would he be named captain of the team almost immediately, Josephson would go on a tear in his first year back home, as he scored 35 points in 40 games, en route to earning an SHL silver medal and the gold helmet given to the SHL's league MVP. 
Joseph soon continues to captain Jagardan for the current season, and although his numbers showed a noticeable drop last year, he did spend a lot of time out of the lineup due to injury. In fact, Josephson is still recovering from surgery needed to fix a lower body injury he sustained last year. That said, he should be back on the ice suiting up for the team in the next few weeks, so expect to see him light up the league once more when he finally gets healthy. Penultimately at number 2 we have Joel Lundqvist. The younger of the two Lundqvist twins and sibling to one of the greatest netminders to ever play the game, Joel might not have had the same impact in the NHL as his older brother has, but he sure has become a legend back home. A third round pick by the Dallas Stars back in the year 2000, Joel would finally get a shot in the NHL during the 06-07 season, where he played 134 games over the next three seasons, all with the Stars, and scored 7 goals and 26 points for his efforts. Following his final season with Dallas in 0809, Joel would head back across the pond and rejoin his childhood team for Lunda HC, where he would quickly be given captaincy of the team and immediately pick his play up where he left off several years prior. Over the next 12 seasons, Joel has served as the captain of Falunda and has not only become one of the team's best players ever, he's gone down in history as one of the greatest players in Swedish hockey history. In 774 games, split between the SHL and the Elite Syrian, the precursor to the SHL, Joel Lundqvist has scored 169 goals and 434 points. Not only that, but he has also won a whole host of awards with the team too, such as two Elite Syrian Championships, two SHL Championships, three Champions Hockey League trophies, a CHL MVP, and a Swedish Player of the Year award. So yeah, Joel is a pretty good hockey player, folks. And finally, last but certainly not least, at number one, we have Patrick Berglund. Sitting at the top of this list with the most NHL games played by a long shot, Patrick Berglund's exit from the bigs may have come under difficult circumstances, but he sure seems to be much happier and playing a lot better now that he's back in his domestic league. The 25th overall pick of the 2006 draft by the St. Louis Blues, Berglund made the move to Missouri in 2008 and took to the ice in 717 NHL games over 11 seasons split between the Blues and the Buffalo Sabres, scoring 170 goals and 326 points in the process. After leaving the league in 2019 when his contract was terminated by the Sabres, it was reported that Berglund had failed to report to the team during the season and had really struggled with his mental health since his trade to Buffalo, so he decided to take the rest of the year completely away from hockey in order to get help for his off-ice issues. When the 1920 season came around, Berglund decided that he was ready to get back onto the ice and continue his pro hockey career, but he wanted to play much closer to home, as he signed with Jagardan IF of the SHL for the season. In fact, Berglund continues to suit up for Jagardan to this very day, and though he may have gone scoreless in his first game of the season, the Swedish forward has wasted no time becoming a great scorer in the league, as he has notched 15 goals and 31 points in 50 games since returning home. His career across the pond may be over, but here's hoping Berglund can continue to get the help he needs for his mental health, keep up his impressive play, and put up strong numbers during his time in Sweden. He's still got the talent to do so, that's for sure. And that was my list of eight former NHLers playing in the Swedish Hockey League this season. What do you guys think about my list? Also, do you want me to make more videos on European hockey? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Chris Gadsby, Connor B, John Plomin, Jordan Whitehead, Martin Tolnus, Paul Malia, Roman from London, The Legacy, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.